Hi everyone and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading we are going to take a look and see what messages the cards want to reveal for you and what messages they have for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading and it is a collective reading therefore this reading itself is not particularly or specifically intended for any sign, any zodiac sign that is. Um, if you have clicked on this reading I believe that there's something here for you. You've obviously been led to this reading. You've been guided here. There's obviously something here that has drawn you to this reading. So if you're here, there may just be a message in it for you. There's also going to be a part two to this reading as well. And in part two, we'll just explore those messages in more depth and detail. And we'll also um, continue and follow on with those messages. And part two is going to be, is going to be made available to you all. By the extension link below which will be included just below the video in the show more section also guys since this is a general reading please keep an open mind be mindful and just um, if you are after a personal reading feel free to reach out to me that way um, with a personal reading um, the messages are tailored to you and your person or to, uh, they're tailored specifically to you and your situation but keep an open mind okay um and let's get started so we're not going to pose a question we're just going to see what messages the universe has for you what messages the tarot guides have for you at this specific point in time I think for a lot of you specifically right now you need to understand that the universe has your back even though it doesn't necessarily feel like it okay there are a lot of energies here that seem to indicate that um, some of you have been going through something very tumultuous lately okay and some of you might be in the midst of this tower you may be entering a tower moment or two or several. You may be in the midst of it, in the middle of it. You may be just about to come out of it. There are opportunities that the universe here has presented to you. Um, opportunities that are allowing you to heal. They're uh, allowing you to grow and allowing you to evolve. Some of these opportunities are uncomfortable. Okay, They are pushing you outside of your comfort zone. Some of these opportunities mean that you have gotten hurt. Okay, You have been emotionally challenged. You have been exhausted. Um, but in some of these situations that you've been experiencing or that you've been put through are definitely have been difficult they've been difficult they've been challenging they've been tiring um there's a lot of obstacles that i feel like that has been put uh in your path recently not only with regards to love or romance but maybe even career or just um you know in general but this is all to deepen your love this is also this is all um all of these like these tower moments or these opportunities or these situations that you have experienced um this is all to deepen your love for yourself, for someone else. 
and your love of the universe as well. I see very strongly in the cards that the universe here has removed someone or something from your life that um, some of you are finding it extremely difficult to deal with. Okay, It could be a romantic lover, it could be a best friend, it could be a connecting energy, but the universe has removed this person or has removed this situation from your life. It's not necessarily to tell you that this person isn't the one, but it is to communicate a very important message concerning this specific energy whether it's a romantic energy you know whether it's a friend a sibling whoever this person is for you um, that's because the universe has responded for a lot of you prior to whoever this person is that has um, you know whether it's the individual having cut ties with you whether it's you having cut ties with the individual whether it's something that has ended a relationship or a job opportunity of some sort um, prior to that, you've actually asked the universe to send you a sign from what I'm seeing um, in the cards for you. You've actually communicated with the universe that, um, you know, you, you want you were seeking guidance. You were seeking guidance. I can't pick it up. It's stuck. Um, you wanted some direction. You wanted some change. Um, and this is the universe's way of responding to you. OK, it's putting you outside of your comfort zone. It's, it could be testing you and the relationship. It could be testing your strengths, your abilities here. Um, and I definitely, and I feel like it's not, it's not subtle, right? In order for the universe to have removed this person or, you know, to have ended a relationship or to have put you in the midst of like chaos and this storm, it's not a very, it's not very subtle communication, isn't it? Um, look, for some of you, perhaps the universe could be telling you that this person, you know, they could be delivering the message to you that this person isn't the one for you at all okay or this person isn't the one for you just yet you have to learn to trust the information that is coming to you okay because there's a lot of i feel like there's a lot of messages that have been coming to you regarding a certain person and i feel like there's a certain person that has been removed from your life but i feel like to me it feels like the universe is wanting to bring this person back into your life okay so Some of you have heard, it's almost like you've seen a sign, okay? You've seen a sign or you've had some very strong feelings, some very strong, um, just this feeling of knowing or just even this um, energy to um, to say that this person is coming back or there is someone here who is, you know, wanting to reach out and communicate with you again. This is this past energy that I'm referring to or this past relationship or this past connection that you've had for some of you this is someone who you only briefly knew you only briefly encountered each other um, you might not necessarily have had the opportunity to start up uh, a relationship or a connection with this person but obviously you and this person have felt something very special and very powerful from the, um, from the very beginning but you didn't have enough time to develop you know, a connection, to build a connection with this person because it ended maybe just as quickly as it began, as it began or for whatever reason, you know, this person pulled away or you pulled away or, you know, it, it just ended. And again, I think there's a very powerful reason why the universe has removed this person um, or this very, you know, relationship from your life. And a lot of it is to help you heal. Okay, for some of you, I see that there is, you know, swords are a weapon here. Um, there is a bit of um this... Um, you know, this heavy energy of pain, it's to help you heal. It could be that this person was causing you a lot of pain. It could be that, you know, the both of you were causing each other a lot of pain. It could be that you have suppressed um, emotions from a previous romantic connection or you have, you know, suppressed um, emotions that need healing. So this is the universe's way of responding to you and letting, you know, Especially for those of you who have been asking for a sign or who have been asking for guidance as to where to go next and what to do next. Um, I see that the universe wants you to focus on yourself right now. Okay, I'm also seeing that it's also providing you a lot of communication recently regarding a certain individual. And I feel like, I don't know if it's because this has been a breakup that has been very painful, very volatile. The both of you have ended things, um, you know. Maybe things were, you know, they ended violently or very uncomfortably or you, you guys caused 
maybe unintentionally and unknowingly, but you might have caused each other a lot of pain. Maybe the both of you have had, you know, you've stored a lot of pain in your energies. You've had a lot of unhealed emotional wounds um, that needed to be tended to. So this is why the relationship had to end. This is why, you know, the universe had to remove this person from your life. Um, the more you listen, okay, the more you listen, the more you respond to the, uni um, to the messages from the universe, the more that is going to continue to guide you. And I'm seeing that there have been some very um, strong signs, okay? And these signs could come in the form of dreams. It could come in the form of, I mean, some of them are going to be flashing neon signs. That's how, you know, big and bold these messages are for some of you. For others, it's a little bit more subtle, but it's been very um, repetitive is what I'm seeing, a lot of you thought that the breakup was final, okay, this breakup or this separation or the, the fact they've ghosted you, you know, this disconnection. A lot of you thought that, you know, it was final. It was um, painful for a lot of you. And I think that, um, I think that for quite some time, even though you felt the breakup was final, okay, and it was a final chapter, um, a lot of you had this feeling or this energy that you guys were going to reconnect again. Okay, that you were going to cross paths again. Okay, some of you, you broke up because this person was moving away. Um, for others of you, you know, an opportunity opened up elsewhere. Or, you know, for some of you, it was just circumstances beyond your control. Okay, whatever your narrative here. Um, and for a lot of you, I feel like the relationship did end or this person was removed because of external factors that are completely beyond your control but it for a lot of you you just felt like it was a signal even though things ended very quickly you interpreted that as a signal that maybe the door isn't completely shut on this relationship just yet i don't necessarily feel like you or this person have any resentment towards one another um for some of you, I feel like this is someone potentially you could still be in touch with this person, okay? They're, the two of you could still be in touch. Um, it may not necessarily be daily conversations here, um, but it feels like... It feels like, you know, the two of you might still be communicating here. For some of you, you went to see a psychic regarding this person that I'm referring to. And a psychic, you know, someone whom you trust, someone with extreme intuitive um, sensitivity, intuitive abilities, has informed you, okay, that this person is coming back. Has informed you that the connection between you and this individual is so strong that it is, you know, that it's, it warrants a reunion. It warrants a reconnection. And I feel like, um, I feel like, it hurt the both of you to be apart, but I think, as I've mentioned at the start of the reading, I think it was an opportunity for the two of you to come apart so you can focus on each other um, as individuals, so you can focus on yourselves rather, um, so you can focus the healing. You know, it was very cathartic for a lot of you, okay? Um, even though it's uncomfortable and as painful as it was. Um, Deep down, you and this person still very um, still care about each other, and that the both of you still feel this gravitation towards each other that you felt from day one. Well, that gravitation hasn't gone away. Okay, this person is coming. Um, this person is coming back with that same level of attraction. That same, you know, the, those emotions haven't dissolved. The breakup meant that the both of you. Your lives went in separate directions, okay, in opposite directions. That's what the breakup meant. So your paths have um, went, you know, completely opposite. But now I see that the universe has every intention of realigning your paths again. Okay, the universe, see, all along the universe had, in if it was completely unknown um, to a lot of you, even though, you know, for those of you who are, whose intuition was very strong, a lot of you felt, even though it was the ending and it felt final, a lot of you felt like, you know, it wasn't just, it, you did not necessarily feel like it was the end. And all along the universe had plans, the universe had plans of, um, you know, realigning your paths again. Um, 
at that particular point in time, at the at the point of the breakup, at the point you know, at the time of the breakup, at the time of the separation, you guys went separate ways, and you didn't necessarily know how long until your paths will cross again. You felt it, but you didn't necessarily know how long. And for a lot of you, you kind of trusted the universe. Okay, you've trusted the universe. You kind of just, um, you know, you stayed open to the universe and whatever unfolds next. But the universe kept giving you hint, especially when the when there was a big change of plans, okay? When there was a big change of plans either for you or for this person. The universe gave, um, started giving you a lot of hints. Um, and when it wants to be, the world can be very, very small. And according to this change of plans, it then altered what was, to, what was or what is to come next, okay? So for a lot of you, I feel very strongly, just circling back, that... Um, the universe has been sending you and is sending you signs that that you're starting to recognize okay for some of you you know um maybe you're just only recently starting to recognize these signs for others of you you're starting to recognize these signs very strongly who this person is since the two of you have been away from each other there's been this strong feeling of in um just this incompleteness okay like something is missing um like a strong lonesome kind of energy and after the breakup after the separation those feelings have persisted um that is a strong sign that the both of you are still like you know you're deeply connected and that's also a strong sign and the both of you have felt okay because you both sort of mirrored each other's emotions and each other's energies all throughout the separation all throughout the breakup and you know people that partners and energies that are in a healthy relationship they're typically they feel whole as people by themselves okay so it doesn't mean that you know it's this person is incomplete or that you're feeling incomplete it's just that sense of something is missing the chemistry is certainly still there. With this person coming back, don't stress as to, you know, things being awkward between the two of you or feelings have been, have dissolved. Because for some of you, it's been quite some time. It may even have been years, okay, for some of you. Um, but that spark, okay, that initial spark from the, be from the beginning that you guys felt, that chemistry, that electrical charge, that, you know, that spark, okay, that spark is still there. And conversation is going to flow so don't stress about what you're going to say to this person when they come back what they're going to say to you um no there's like there's momentum okay there's momentum um no awkward post no awkward pauses no sense of awkwardness that is going to sort of stop this momentum that i see for some of you you may have been dating other people during the breakup or the separation or your person may have been seeing or dating, you know, other people. But I think it's important for you to know that, and a lot of you do probably would agree with this statement, that no one compares to this person for you. And no one compares to you for this person. Okay, and like, nothing really compares to this connection. It felt very unique and unlike any other connection. And this is why you guys are finding your way back to each other. You're a lot more in sync now, though, again, and I feel like that has a lot to do with the separation, the disconnection. So the universe has removed this person from your life. And in the meantime, a lot of you have been doing a lot of inner work and a lot of healing and a lot of growing. And a lot of, uh, like, there's this catharsis that I see for a lot of you, like this cleansing and this pur purging of even emotional and psychological um, emotions. You're a lot more in sync, a lot more in sync with each other. That physical attraction certainly has not faded. And a lot of you, as I've mentioned, it's just this, it's this feeling of you knowing, okay? You just, you know that the both of you are going to reconnect or you you know you know that the both of you are going to be together again you know that you're going to end up together and you don't really have any scientific proof or evidence to support what it is that you know but you feel it okay you feel it and because of these feelings and these intuitions um 
mixed with this really strong ingredient of just you sensing things. That's the universe speaking to you. That's the universe speaking and communicating to you regarding this person. You can't describe exactly, you know, how you know, but you just know. Um, and this reunion is happening. We'll explore in part two of the reading when this reunion is happening. But it's likely to happen in the near future for a lot of you, given the energies, okay? Um, but there is one important question that I want to pose in part two of the reading is whether you and this person are ready to reconnect. Because I see that this communication and reunion is on the um, on the edge of a precipice, okay? It's happening in the very near future. But my question to you and my question to your person is, are the both of you ready to reconnect with each other? Okay, are you prepared to come back to one another? So we'll explore that in part two. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Please share your support if you haven't already by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.